Well, I thought I'd better do a bit of an introduction to this video, otherwise it looks a bit odd. Um, so what I decided to do was, um, I'd like to do, because I'm off, I'm off work this week, I thought it'd be nice to do a little painting. I haven't done one for ages. So I thought what I would do is pick a nice day, well, at least when the forecast was nice, go out for a walk, take the camera with me. I've also got a Canon 600D which I wanted to get to know as well. I've had it for over a year and haven't used it much. So I thought I would do that and kill two birds with one stone. So um, I'm going to divide it up because um, I haven't really got the the broadband to you know upload a huge video so I'll probably you know I'll probably do it in two or three parts um, just to make it a bit simpler so basically this is a, the, the first part of the video is me going up going out for a walk I got up early one morning to try and get early morning sunshine etc and uh, had a really good day as it turns out so that's what the per first part of the, of the of this video is. Um, I took the camera so I wanted to get a few good photographs, and then maybe turn one of them into a painting. So that was that was the idea anyway behind the day. So um, this is what happened on the day. So here I am in the middle of a field with those big characteristic Suffolk skies that are beautiful. I was hoping for a bit more of a clear sky and a bit more sunny, but it's early days yet. But it is beautiful and peaceful. I have to say it's not quite as sunny today as I was expecting it to be. There's a lot of cloud cover and I was expecting sort of strong morning, you know, shafts of light to be coming down. So I'm a bit disappointed that the sky isn't clear. However, I'll have to make the most of it. I don't think the camera indicates actually how dark it is in here, but it was quite, it's quite dark. And I think that's the disappointing thing for me, because I thought at this time of the morning I'd get wonderful streaks of morning sunlight. You know coming through because the sun's risen over there and I thought we'd get marvelous streaks of morning sunshine so I have to say I'm quite disappointed and I think the, the forecast was good for today you know blue sky etc and that may come later because it's certainly not overcast or anything but it's a lot cloudier than I was hoping for it's a lovely walk, but it's just not, it's not as photogenic as I was hoping for, I suppose. Although I will say this, there's all sorts of creepy signs from animals, obviously, in the trees. And every now and again you hear a very loud rustle or a crack of a, a branch or something that sort of startles you. It is very peaceful. Pity about the uh, background noise of traffic, of course. But nonetheless, this is always one of my favourite walks, favourite spots. I always feel very peaceful here. I think this, um, this camera makes it look so much brighter in here. But actually it's, it's very dark. Very dark. And I suppose what I was expecting today, certainly this morning, as the sun's over there now, I, I was expecting sort of nice streaks of early morning sunshine coming in amongst the trees and it would have made some very interesting light. 
but unfortunately there's a big blanket of cloud up there that's just not doesn't look as if it's going to shift so I'm afraid those ideas have been well and truly, truly scuppered but I mean it's still nice having a walk in the forest but it's not very photogenic I suppose is what I'm saying I came out with the camera equipment and thought oh I'll get some nice photographs today well, actually it's a bit disappointing pleasant walk but disappointing um, but the other thing is I didn't bring in a spare battery for the camera and uh, I've got a red battery warning sign flashing at me so it's about to give up luckily enough I'm not far from home so um, I might go back and recharge the battery or get the spare if I can find it and then come out again because I think the forecast is for it to brighten up and uh, the clouds supposed to clear by later this morning so I might venture out later regroup have a bit of breakfast coffee and then come out again we'll see what happens oh, look a wee bit of sunshine up there okay I just scared the living daylight to myself I thought that was an animal up the tree that thing clinging to the, the side of the tree but um, no it's not I keep forgetting where I am this is England you don't get things like that It's funny I'd never noticed it here before but you can definitely hear the the early morning commuter traffic in the distance there's a main road that runs from Sudbury to Bury St Edmunds and I would imagine that gets very busy at this time of the morning and it's actually not that far away the main road itself so I'm Hence the background traffic noise. There's the World War II pillbox. Strategically placed just at the edge of the trees. And they would have had a nice clear view <coughs> of those skies. Of any approaching enemy aircraft. Because of, well, you have to watch a previous video of mine. I've <laughs> documented it all. But basically there was a big American uh, airfield just a few miles up the road and all, all along this uh, countryside there's little pillboxes like this placed all over the place uh, which would have been obviously the lookouts for any approaching aircraft. Go watch my video. And also on that video you will know that this is actually, this track that I'm on now is an old railway line, a railway embankment that used to run, it was a little branch line that was closed in the early 60s thanks to Beeching who cancelled a lot of uh, local train services in the UK to save money and this was one of those branch lines that was closed it used to run from Bury St Edmunds to Sudbury through La um, Lavenham and Long Melford and now it's a beautiful walk oh those flowers are pretty Well, my other camera has just run out of battery, so uh, I can either carry on here, go somewhere else, or go back home. And I think I'll go back home and recharge the battery or find the spare if I, if I can find it. And then, um, hmm, I don't know what I'll do next. I think the day is going to improve. I've said that before. Sorry, I'm being very British, preoccupied with the bloody weather. Okay.
this amazing old railway bridge. Think of all the steam trains that would have passed under these, under this arch, all those years ago. All that's left is the red brick and lots and lots of graffiti built up over the years. I love the you stand just underneath it, you get that wonderful echoing sound of your voice. Brilliant. Well here I am back at the car, just thought I'd give you a bit of perspective from about where I've been. So that road takes you to Lavenham, lovely historic village. And that road takes you back onto the main road that runs between Sudbury and Bury St Edmunds, which is all the traffic that can be heard in the background. And I've just come out of there, which is the railway cutting. Actually, if I go up here, I can stand on top of the bridge. You just have to be careful because it's a very narrow little road so this is on top of the railway bridge where I've just been and there we go there's the path and there's the road to Lavenham well I'm back home again I came back home really because that little blighter there wants recharging. I'm actually using the other camera now just to give it a, a run for its money. Look at the state of that kitchen, it's disgusting. So I've come back home, put one of them in charger and I've got two spare and you know I didn't put them in my bag. Mm. So I've come back home, it's half nine now, I left home at about 10 to 6 this morning I left. Um, I'll put that battery on charge even though I've got two spare now so I can go out but I think what I'll do is seeing I'm back home again I'll have a coffee and then we'll venture out again so I'm not quite sure where to go yet. No I don't know. Mystery. Well this is more like it. So it's now 5 past 10 We've now got clear blue sky. I've come out to another location which is down Little Country Lane where I close to where I live and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very quiet as well, it's much quieter. You haven't got that background traffic noise. And look at that, isn't it gorgeous? The light is just lovely. So let's see if I can get some nice photographs. Hello fella. Oh god, look at all the flies. Hello fella. Oh my lord, scary. <laughs> You're beautiful, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> oh dear. Friendly cat. Friendly horse, though.
I come in peace. Now, come on, let's go. There we go. Horse number two today. And horse number three. Coming over for a little chat. Those flies must be really annoying. I've come to the end of this walk. I don't intend to walk. The path continues down there, which look, does look very nice. In the distance there, you can just see the market town of Sudbury. And you can see it's a bit of a contrast to the cloud this morning. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a the end of the walk. I'm gonna head back now, and uh, hopefully I've got some nice photographs and video. And I'll see what I've got when I get home and start putting it all together. It's very peaceful here, and the reason there's so much aircraft noise is we're on the flight path to Stansted Airport, which is probably about 15 miles away further to the west so that's why we get a lot of aircraft noise here whenever the um, the flight path is in that particular direction okay well I've enjoyed that um, so let's see what let's see what the results are see what the photographs I've come up with hopefully I've got a couple of nice ones that I can either crop or enhance a little bit to um, Maybe turn one into a little painting or something. Let's see what, what happens. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the little walk today. And from a lovely sunny Suffolk, goodbye. <laughs>